Hello again, Fizzles family and friends. This is the Daily Advent Message for Saturday, December 11th, and I'm coming to you again with a devotional reading from Jesus Crisis, the 2021 Advent through Epiphany devotional booklet by the written by the UCC Still Speaking Writers Group and published by the Pilgrim Press. The author for today's devotional is Reverend Lillian Daniel, and Reverend Daniel is the senior pastor at First Congregational Church in Dubuque, Iowa. She's the author of Tired of Apologizing for a Church I Don't Belong to, among other titles. Her devotional for today is, a t- is titled Shaken and Stirred, and her focal scriptural verses are Hebrews 10, verses 24 and 25. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, all the more as you see the day drawing near. And now her devotional. Here I am, with my hair all fallen out, months to live, and the only desire, my only desire is to live to see my daughter graduate from high school, said the dying woman, reacting to the visitor who had just left as I walked in. And this woman, sitting in my living room, complaining because her kid got the wrong coach for travel soccer. No sooner had she invited me into her her interior monologue than she softened the story by saying, I don't mean to sound insensitive. I used to care about those things, too. I'd never say any of that out loud. But thank God you just did, I said for I needed a reminder that the dying know things the rest of us do not. For one thing, they know they are not immortal. If you could say anything without fear of hurting our feelings, what would you say? I asked because I now realize that her last visitor could have been any one of us. Don't get so upset about the small things. Take notice of all that is good, she said. But words don't really do it. Mostly, I just want to grab you all by the shoulders and shake you. Consider me shaken and stirred, I replied. This amazing woman, so afraid of being insensitive, was no such thing. She was highly sensitive to the eternal truths that blasted away the banalities of life and exposed my secret worries for what they were relatively small things, as the day for us all draws near. And her prayer, Holy Spirit, stir up your love in my living and your truth before my dying. Amen. I look forward to joining with you in worship tomorrow for our 10 o'clock service in the Sunday School Room and our, or our 11.30 Zoom as we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, this Sunday uh, that highlights joy. Until we talk again virtually or in person, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and remember that God is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.